Hello and welcome to the Project Environment Globe Claritas tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to give you an overview of how to create a new Claritas project, how to archive an existing project, and finally, how we can restore a Globe Claritas project archive. All the project related tools can be found in the Project tab of the launcher. Firstly, we want to create a new project. The corresponding parameter form comes up after selecting Create. In the top line, we have to specify the name of the project. In the second line, we define the local data storage location. If you want to store the seismic data in a different location, this has to be selected in the Data Parent Directory line. A comment can be added, like in our example, Demo Claritas Project Setup. The corresponding site, as well as creator of the project, can be chosen. Accepting the parameter form sets up the entire project infrastructure. Claritas does not store data in a database, but in folders and subfolders. The parent directory has the name of the project ID. A subfolder framework is automatically set up to host all the supplementary files, like velocities and geometry information. In the next step, we want to have a look at how to archive a Claritas project. We go back to the Project tab and select Archive. A new parameter form comes up. You first need to choose the Claritas project file of the project that you want to archive. This file is normally located directly under the parent directory of the specific project. Then we have to give an output name for the Claritas archive. The default compression type is suitable for most situations. An important parameter for large surveys could be the option to exclude the actual seismic data from the archive file in order to keep the archive to a manageable size. Again, accepting the parameter form starts the process of archiving the data. Depending on the size of the project, this can take some time. As the last section of the tutorial, I want to show you how to restore an archived project. The mandatory fields of this form are the location of where you want to place the project and the archive project file you want to unpack. This is where the site owner can be defined. If these fields are left blank, the same values as contained within the archived file will be used. All these projects can be accessed via the Project button at the top of the launcher. If we do so with the selection of the most recently used project at the top and by user categorized selection below, when we now select our Marine Tutorial dataset for demonstration purposes and go to the Claritas Job Editor, we receive a selection of all jobs related to this project. If we select a demo data project, we get a blank file selection widget as we would expect.